Hey traders, it's the Cowboy with Elliott Wave Cafe. In today's YouTube uh, video, I'm going to talk about the most, one of the most underused forms of technical analysis, and that is called the channeling. All right, so let's take a look at a few charts and see why I think this is one of the methods that is that is very very underused. And uh, you know, for my methodology, which is Elliott Wave, right, my preferred uh, methodology in, into looking at the markets. Uh, even there, uh, pe people underuse it a lot. And um, I think it's a very, very helpful tool. And if you apply it properly, it can help you guide into making pretty important trading decisions and, and maximize your profits. So let's take a look at something interesting that happened in um, uh, ADA in Cardano here for the past several months. And uh, you can kind of see how nicely, you know, this... Um, pair has been climbing uh, from, um, you know, a cent 50 here back into March 12th, all the way uh, to almost uh, 14 cents, um, you know, uh, for maybe like about a week ago. And uh, since the subject of today's video, it's, it's about channeling. All I've done is I've just kind of took, um, you know, just my channeling tool and I just placed it up here um, just on a normal, simple, very, you know, kind of visual um just on a visual look you don't have to be extremely precise with the channeling they're a little bit subjective right because you get a bunch of swings uh, you know up and down so you can kind of take them and just kind of play with them and just see what they uh, you know make sense you want to have as many points of contact as possible uh, but they also have to make sense they have to kind of follow the price and they kind of have to be arranged in such a way that uh, that the price uh, uh, you know, fits inside them and, and can guide you kind of going forward. So, for example, just by looking at this, you can see how this move is clearly super impulsive to the upside. You have a clean five wave pattern in here. You can go in a one, two, then you have a very large uh, kind of extended third wave on here that takes you up almost to 261 point multiple of the distance travel into this wave one, into this kind of circle minute count. Uh, this subdivides nicely into the five waves. It stays contained, you know, within the channel. And uh, what this technique does is basically provides you with very, very good entry points uh, if you want to stay with the trend. So, uh, for example, right now the market continues to climb and, you know, we're not sure if this trend is complete or not. Uh, but we're going to look inside this channel and, you know, give it and respect it as much as possible. I mean, it's been if it's been holding so far, you know, we're just going to continue to to expect that is a continue going forward. And uh, if this was a fourth wave, then we must be, uh, you know, in some kind of a finished move up here for the fifth wave. But we don't know if it's if it's complete or not. If you're asking me, uh, you know, maybe this fifth wave can move up here and we're done and then we're going to correct lower. But this move here. Uh, can continue can continue to develop and move up higher here as as a fifth wave. So how do we do that? Do we take this fifth wave and we uh, decompose it here as an impulse? And we're looking at this thing, and you know the the, the software automatically kind of puts it kind of wrongly, which is fine, and that's why we have to adjust it. So you go in a one two, and then um, you know you look for this rise up here as being a third wave. Um, you know, pretty, uh, you know, clean move on here. This can be a one, a two, you have a three, maybe some kind of a flat in a fourth wave and a fifth wave for this um, parenthesis here, a wave three. And then maybe right now we're doing a triangle in a fourth wave on here and we still have to do a wave five, right? So I think uh, near term Cardano still has a little bit higher to go and uh, more than likely if it will go higher, it will target the top of this channel. So you can kind of see where you can take targets. If this wave four is not done, and it wants to correct lower, maybe through a zigzag or a double zigzag or some kind of a complex move. We're going to look at the bottom of the channel here for the support. So this is a wave one, a two, maybe a three, uh, maybe a little bit longer wave four in here. Maybe we're going to correct slightly lower. And, uh, you know, we're just going to look for it to to uh, get to the bottom of the channel. And then so you can see how it kind of gives you, uh, you know, an idea of, of where you can have opportunities to trade or to possibly short if you want to short. I wouldn't recommend it because it's an uptrend, but uh, basically it gives you targets, right? So you can see that you're going to have a nice opportunity kind of if the price comes down somewhere into this neighborhood, right? And then you would have an opportunity to take profits if the price starts attacking up this trend line. You combine that with your Elliott wave knowledge uh, by counting the waves and you can see if you have a complete structure or not and it can provide you with a you know pretty powerful uh, powerful tool and i think a lot of people underuse this and, and you know I, I would incorporate them into my trading a lot because you know they provide you with a nice guidance going forward what you can do is you can also put the middle line on there and consider that as being the middle of your channel um and you know look for opportunities as the prices approaches uh, 
you know, uh, those lines as well. Okay, so just kind of use it. It's, it's important, it's powerful, and I think it will help you in your training. And um, let's move from uh, ADA. Let's move, for example, to what's the next one that I have here. I have EOS as well. So again, you can use them on a cleanly, you know, upwards directional trending market as a trade, or you can use them to guide you in your corrective patterns. So in EOS, for example, here we have a nice move that's corrective it's contained within this parallel cha uh, you know lines and in this channeling um, and as long as this provides us with the guidance we're going to continue to follow it through the moment we start to break above this thing here then uh, we'll know we're embarking into the next uh, uh, you know move uh, that's going to be more of an impulsive pattern so um, look at this right so you have a move down in a and then you have move up in b just don't think that for example you're not even seeing the price uh, beyond this point kind of going to this way so you're going to connect uh, the top of this wave with the top of this wave through a channel that's going to give you the bottom and then you project it from here and that's going to give you the bottom of this wave c right there and the market bounces so even if you wanted to trade some of this correction or some of these lags right what you do is you take the channel and you basically you know you start at the top of the move and you just kind of go on the top of the wave b right and it will give you from the bottom and then the, you project that and it gives you, uh, you know, the next point of contact and same to the upside, right? And now, you know, you can notice I have another impulsive channel that happens here on a smaller time frame. So if I go to a one hour, you can see how I'm looking for this impulsive price to stay contained in the smaller channel. I go to a 30 minute, right? And it just kind of guides me going forward. So I have a wave one up, I have a wave two down. I have another one two in here sometimes you will get these penetrations you don't have to be scared you just follow your your Elliott wave rules if you're breaking below these lows then you get out if you're in a long trade but the channel that it doesn't get destroyed the market reacts goes back right and already you have this point of contact this point of contact and you can kind of place it on a 45 degree angle as the market continues to move up higher you're reaching the top of the channel you're reaching it here you're reaching it there right and all the market corrects is it time to get long maybe not just yet why don't we wait for the price to see, you know, if we're going to get a, um, you know, a little bit of a move lower here as part of this larger fourth wave, right? I'm going to see if I can get an opportunity to join the trend as part of this, uh, you know, move upwards, possibly as part of a fourth wave. Now, if you combine that with your Elliott wave knowledge, this is possibly a one, a two, a three, a four and a five, let's say for a wave A of a zigzag. This is a wave B. And then you're breaking lower and you're doing maybe another five wave move that's a little bit shorter down on here maybe you break to the channel just slightly and then you continue moving back up higher into this fifth wave and you're going to target the top of this channel again okay so use that use that to your advantage use it on the corrective moves use it on an impulsive moves um and you will you, you will see you will open a, a, you know a world of possibilities into trading the moment you combine channeling with your Elliott wave knowledge another one that i wanted to show you here was um was litecoin and uh you know litecoin has a nice move here as well we're looking at this as a flat and i'm going to take my channeling on here and just going to go okay i'm just going to connect the top of this wave with the type of this wave b i'm going to project it kind of lower on here and you can see that the market never reached the bottom of the channeling but you do have a five-way structure complete and what this tells me it tells me that we have a flat correction so uh sometimes you know into the channels you'll get more of a zigzag type of a, of a corrective pattern where you get a one two three four and five then you would get an a b c up and then you'll get another one two three four and five and that's uh, more for a zigzag the moment you don't reach this more than likely you're going to get a flat and that is a three you can see it in here three three and then five you can go in a one two three four and five and then this is a flat um, and the market uh, you know this correction here we could consider this complete we'll see what happens going forward but again if i go from a six hour here to a one hour you know i can just take something i don't have a lot of point of contact but what i can do is i can take for example my channeling coming from these lows and i'm just gonna uh even sometimes you just have to eyeball these things and you can go from here and you just go to this point of contacts you know you ignore this the swings that are happening on here you go that and you project it to the top and then now you start to have a little bit of a channel we're going to go and we're going to put a middle line on there right and i have kind of a middle that's going to guide me so now what do i do i'm going to start counting a little bit and see what happens so i can go let me just kind of pull my tool on here so if this is the first wave from the lows 
uh, you go in a wave one and here you can go in a two right possible this is a third wave where you go in a one two three right four and uh, the software automatically put it up there so let me do it just a little bit different I'm gonna get uh, this impulse from here and I'm just gonna go one in here right I'm gonna go in a second wave right okay we'll do this as a three or possible this is a three up here right you can go in a one two three four and five so that means this is a four but it's just kind of you know this is the sharpest rise of the sequence so I like this this is impulsive it's nice so um, just kind of clear this up you go this is a four just a little bit better and then uh, uh, this is as a uh, as a fifth wave right up on here right up there okay this is a one two three four just a larger four and a five and then you have a completed sequence and now this possible it's a wave two to the downside so we go and then we take our impulse tool again and you go this is zero this is a wave one on here and now we're possibly expecting a second wave pullback but I'm going to use this channeling and this technique to kind of guide me going forward on here for the third wave and this is looks like a five-way move of the highs in a one two three four and five this is a corrective pattern just like you saw in the EOS right so you have this is an A possible corrective up in B maybe a little bit higher then go down in C for a second wave the channel should provide support my opportunity comes back on here if I can notice a one two three four and five that means I'm going to start to get some bids on here and I'm going to look for the top of the channel to kind of go back up all right so that's how you kind of trade and that's how you kind of look um, at uh, at the channeling let me show you one more you go on the XRP I've talked about this into the uh, previous video that I've done about the XRP we were looking at this pattern here as being nice and corrective so again this is a double zigzag right and you can see how the markets made new low so ABC for a W up in X and down in an one two three four five four a up in b down in c and uh, just by projecting you know a channel from from these highs down to this x it gives you a target for the lows on here now the market goes up again goes in a one two i've talked about this this is possibly a three wave completion on here so you can go down and uh you know you can start playing with some channeling in here as well uh and just kind of guide you going upwards on here right this is a wave one a wave two let me just kind of project it on that and see how it looks so you have a nice clean one on here then you have a nice abc down for the second wave this is another one two possible so you go one two another one two three four and five right so we need one more high possible in here let's play with that a little bit and see how that's going to kind of go going forward let me just decompose this decompose this as an impulse so we're going to take this and go in here we're going to go a flat in a wave two right there right that's a three three and then five so that's a wave two and then now this is another one two in here possible this is complete i think this is done so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as a wave three okay and then we're going to need a four which is possible in progress or maybe completed on here one two three four one more high in five that would complete this three then we need another four and another five like that okay so this is a nice sharp rise uh, into the price of XRP right this is cleanly you know a nice impulsive move for a third wave we're not breaking any rules the wave count is there so you're going to one two three four and five so that's a third so we have a four we still need a fifth on here we still need a fifth and you know that's going to take um xrp to new highs in here and then possibly followed by another correction now how do i place some channeling on here let's see how we can do that we can go from this wave one in here and that's going to give us this more of a um just kind of start from there like that so that's more of a of a channeling like that Okay, I go there you go right so I'm gonna look for this because the moment you break above this one this one is becomes impulsive but this is going to kind of guide me going to the upside and uh, I've kind of connected this one with this two uh, you can do another one on here that goes from this one and this one two and then you project it up but this uh, this is a very aggressive move so we got to wait for the market to kind of turn and and retest a little bit uh, the bottom of this uh, you can also do something like this so you can have this wave three kind of going up here you have a four and a five let me just kind of clean this up a little bit and um, you know we can do another channel that goes let me just kind of go a little bit to a two hour so I can go 
a little bit more on here like that um, you know and then just take another one that goes something like this you know we do another one that is in the same kind of line like that and then we go up there and then we just mark this just make it a little bit like that so you have just a simple larger channel so we're going to continue to use this as an uptrend move and then use some of these lines to guide us kind of going forward once the trend starts to being a little bit more established and you get a three or four and a five but just kind of play with this and see you know how uh, you know where you're going to get more opportunities so continue to use these channels guys i think it's important they're very very underused and uh, you'll see it will offer you a lot of opportunities if you do all right uh this is all i have for today if you guys like this video hit me some thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel maybe hit the notification bell and come and visit us into the pro room the links are below for more videos um, you know watch uh, our archive and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one thanks bye